Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I'm back with part two of my Sims 3 Build With Me series. Now in the first part, you guys, um, we did the outside, and we did the windows and whatnot, and this is what we have so far. Now I think I'm gonna, I'm feeling doing the outside, this part, like the siding and whatnot. And so, like I said before, I am going to be using custom content, but I will link everything that I use. I'm, I'm going to try my best to do, to link everything that I'm using. Um, I'll try to I'll try my best to find it and link it for you guys. But there is a siding that I'm really wanting to use, and you can you can use like any kind of siding that you want. You, there's a, there's ones from Ambitions. There's even base game ones. Like before I used... Um, actually, I don't think there's... Like it's siding, but it's like... It's like brick. So we'll have to... We'll have to do that later. Okay, so the, the siding that I'm using, it's called... The Anola wall center, and then there's the two sides right there. And so let's actually start right, right there, and right there, and right there. And press the letter R. Okay, so. It looks like I'm not really feeling the whole like brick color, but let's look at the bricks here. And it's called masonry. Hmm. Let's look at the bricks that they already have. Um. Hmm. See, I have a custom content one, but I won't be able to link it. Hmm. Okay, so instead of having brick, let's let's undo it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to keep the wood, the little wood texture, but I'm going to make it the same color as the brick. And so it looks like it's a tan, so bring it up to like there, maybe like a smidgen more right there, and then, well it's not yellow enough. <laughs> hmm. This part's tricky for me, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, just play around with it. But I think I'm gonna leave it like I'm gonna leave it right there. The hex code is that right there. A four nine A eight two. And please, if you need to, um, 
if you need to like pause the video at any time to like write this stuff down please like do um because i don't want to like feel like i'm going too fast or too slow so definitely like you know pause the video if you need to um so we're gonna click and drag if you right click it you won't have to you you can like let go of it and it'll still drag Okay, now we're gonna like that, press letter E, that. We're gonna make sure it got all of it. So the only annoying part of building a house is there we go. There we go. Now there are some hmm actually I'm wondering something. Be putting some columns like right here. They have to be like tall enough. Hmm. So there's this column. It's not gonna like fully touch it's not like it's not going to fully connect with the arc that we used but it's base game and it's the column demish <laughs> we're just gonna put it right there let it click in place you won't need to put on uh, move objects on and press the letter r to make it white just make everything white um Yeah, make everything white. And press letter E. Let it snap into place. See, that looks good, doesn't it? Looks a lot nicer. Um, okay, so let's go back to the siding. Sorry, I always I, I get really sidetracked really easily. Um, it looks like there's brick on this part and let's see what what do they have in the masonry section is that stuff no oh, excuse me uh, hmm. what about rock and stone No. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use custom content again. <laughs> um let's go to this little plain flat wall. Press letter R. There are some really there is some really nice like masonries in here. Like you can use any that you want and then like kinda recreate the color of the picture like you could even use this this one and like kind of play around with the colors hmm you see there's this one that kind of Oh, 
looks like kind of has a hmm. It's the only thing I don't like about building. <laughs> it's like recreating the colors is kind of hard. Like there's this, there's this stuff. That's like the closest that I can like get to it. It looks like it's pinkish sort of or like like a peach color is there a peach color in here i think there is uh, uh, uh. yeah like that and then maybe darken it up a little bit see what i mean okay so that looks good so the hex code for that is that right there C F A E A eight. Then we're gonna press letter E. Make this part like right there. Then on that side. Hmm. I know that it's over here, but I don't think I'm gonna make it over there. Maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna put it right here. How's that look? Or we can even and then like to like mix match it, we can put rock. Let's do that. Let's put rock right here. Um my favorite rock to use is this one. That's a little too a little too much. Hmm. Really indecisive. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at that. I don't like it. So I think we're gonna make both parts right here rock. And I'm kind of feeling that one. So we're gonna use that one. Um, I wanted to make it look exactly like the house, but I probably should have downloaded more stuff, like more custom content than I did. Um, so you could either use that one or if you wanted to go a little bit darker see i like that that's my favorite like rock to use and i know i use it in like a lot of my speed builds but i really like it we'll eventually get this done i swear okay so that looks good enough for now um that looks good okay so we got that all squared away. Let's work on the garden, shall we? So let's go down. Now, if you want to make it like clean cut to where you're not like messing up a lot, you could do, you could put some flooring right there. Or, if you're like me and you don't care, make, bring the brush, the brush strength all the way down and then click on the large circle brush. We're going to go to stones and pavers. And you could use any kind that you want. You could use the dark asphalt, which, what does that look like? Oh, I like that one. Okay, so the asphalt, it came with, uh, I don't know what that came with. Base game? That's not base game. I don't know what that came with. Um, an expansion pack of some kind. <laughs> um, so it's just the regular asphalt. It doesn't cost anything too, so that's a plus. 
um, we're gonna go, we're gonna start right here and kind of go down like that. And it's okay if you mess up right there. And then just kind of like that, maybe. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so that looks good. And then if you messed up, just go to the eraser button and erase it. Whoops, click on the dark asphalt again. There we go. It's okay if you put like, if you want to go into a smaller one. There we go. Nope. Yeah, that looks good enough. <laughs> okay, and then when I, if you want to outline it, actually I need to fix need to fix that. There we go. So go to dirt and sand and click on the dark dirt and kind of outline. Kind of outline it. Just like that. Sorry if I get quiet. I just really I'm, I concentrate a lot when I build houses. Okay, so there's that, and we have like a really big like side yard right here. We're gonna it's gonna be really pretty, you guys. Um, and then we can put a garden right here, like a little tree. So if we start right about here, let's make any shape that you want. It's kind of like a hit and miss kind of thing. I'm gonna go all the way down. It's gonna be this one's gonna be like big. And then fill it in. Just like that. And then you can even have like a little garden right here that kind of pops out like that. There we go. Looks pretty. And then fill that in too. There we go. Come on, go this full circle. There we go. That was bothering me. <laughs> okay, and so there's there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really picky when it comes to stuff like this. Um, and I know I'm gonna put a tree right there, so I'm gonna put a little thing right there, and then. I'm going to have one right here too, so I'm going to put a little dot right there. And then we'll figure out the rest as time goes on. Now, you can outline your garden any way you want. You can put rocks along the along it. You can outline it with flowers. I, miss, I mix match. So over here, I think I'm going to have rocks outline this part and then flowers outlining the rest of it so let's do the rock part first let's go to rocks and let's put random ones it's like kind of scatter scatter them out a little bit um make it look more natural let's 
and maybe click on the the big one and like and then maybe the landscaping rock put that one right there and right there and then maybe the the smooth the smaller landscaping rock And maybe put another big rock right there. See what I mean? So it kind of looks, it looks really pretty that way. And it kind of um, looks natural. Let's move the, let's move that over. <laughs> yeah, let's move that. And then to outline the garden itself, I'm going to use um, flowers. You can use any kind you want. You can use these ones, the, the pink ones. You can use the maguras. You can use the daisies. Which with this house, I think I'm going to use, and there's lav the lavender ones are really pretty too. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to mix match. I'm going to use the lavender that came with Island Paradise. So kind of like spread it out. And kind of. And then maybe the daisies, the lazy daisies, that space game. Um, kind of put them, kind of put it in between. See? Pretty. Okay, now for the flowers it's themselves. There's these ones, and then there's... I really like the pink, the pink hydrangeas. So I'm gonna put like two right there, and then these ones are really pretty too. The the peony, peony. <laughs> it's a funny word. And kind of put it like right there, and then another thing I like doing is like putting some purple heather around. And then maybe some regular heather. This kind of makes this kind of fills it up a little bit. And then maybe we can put some shrubs like the boxwood. The boxwood's really pretty. I like using the boxwood. We we'll kind of like get the smaller ones. There we go. Come on, give me a small one. There it is. Okay, now we can delete those. And then, yeah, we can kind of like s spread this out a little bit. There we go. There we go. So there's that part of the... And then even, even if, you want, if you wanted to, you could even... Um, back to the flowers and put some of the smaller flowers in like let me find the good example of one like the semi roses maybe put some semi roses like in the front here and like in the middle and then pick another one like the azaleas or let me find what's big <laughs> the pink roses it's like random little flowers here and there um, gardens doesn't, don't have to be like perfect because, you know, they're like natural and stuff like that. It's something like that. It looks really pretty. I think so, at least. You just kind of make sure they're like kind of spread out a little bit. There we go. There. There's that one. And over here, I'm going to go back to the lavender. And then maybe we can do something different like the, the purple pansies. That's a funny word. <laughs> Let's 
do the purple pansies this time. And then over here, I think it's going to be really simple. So let's put some more purple heather right here. And then maybe just put some. Uh, da, 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 da. Some hydrangea. Hydrangea. Right there. And then go back to the shrubs and we can use that boxwood again. Or we can use this that came with um, the huckleberry bush. Do a small one. There we go. Like the that like behind it right here. You know what I mean? Maybe. Mm -hmm. That behind it, and then maybe put like boxwood or something. Or we can just put some more flowers right here. Um White hydrangeas. There we go. The white hydrangeas look pretty. Um, that looks nice. I think it looks nice. Um, and then we can put the the mailbox right there. Um, I know this this part right here looks kind of meh, but um, maybe we can put the that right there. Now I think it probably okay. So you could even put like bushes right there instead of trees. So I think I'll put a tree right here, and then like a small tree beside that one right there. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So let's go to trees. And since we're in Appaloosa Plains, I want to use a, a tree that came with pets. So maybe this tree right here. And then over here, we can use... Where's that one tree at? Cottonwood? No, that's, that's a big tree. <laughs> There's one tree that I'm thinking of. Where? 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 Birch tree? Yeah, the birch tree. Came with pets, I think. I think that's the expansion pack that it came with. No, it's not pets. I think that's just the base game. I don't know. Um, so yeah, see what I mean? So you like it kind of creates the illusion of like it grew in with that. You can even do you can do that with this too. Just like move it over a little bit. And then go back to the shrubs and put one. And make sure it's a small enough one. Just keep going until you get small. There we go. There we go. And then you can even like put like some heather right here. And then put heather on the other one too. So it looks like natural. Like it's like, you know. Um, makes it look like it's, you know, trees are growing on, like, you know, around looks more nature like that's the word I'm looking for okay so, oh excuse me so we got the downstairs or not the downstairs we got the um the garden let's look at that it looks pretty ain't that nice but I think I'm gonna move move that like right there looks weird or you can even move it like that looks better so there, there's the garden. And now, I think we have enough time to get the floor plan all squared away. Um, go to floors and ceilings. Then go to wood. I have a lot of custom content woods. Um... I'm gonna use this stuff. It's only a dollar. It's wood floors by wood floors. That's great. <laughs> um, but if you don't like this stuff, you can even use 
this stuff, which is base game, is just the um, short, medium length planks with pegs. It's a long name. But I myself am going to use my custom content that I downloaded forever ago. Um, like I said, you can use anything you want, really. Um, but I'm going to use this stuff. I can't I can't link it because it just says wood floors. <laughs> like, um, but you can use anything that you want. And so the problem being that all right, so I know I wanna make there I know that I know that I wanna have a um a bathroom. So I think the bathroom's gonna be Three by four, it's like a little bathroom right there, and then this can be the kitchen, maybe, or we could even make the bathroom bigger. Yeah, just um, four by four. And then the um. The living room can be like, this is a really awkward downstairs, but I swear it's going to come out looking really pretty. We'll make it work even. We'll make it work somehow. Okay, so I think I want to put a sliding door right here. So you can either use the one that came with pets or... If you want to be fancy, like I want to be fancy, let's let's be fancy, guys. There's a door that came with Supernatural. It's called the Maxi Glass French Doors. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put it right there, but I'm kind of kind of not feeling. There we go. There, that's much better. So we're gonna have to fix. I'm gonna have to fix that. So there we go. And then just like do that. Press letter E. There we go. That looks good enough. Um I'm not picky. I mean, I am, but I'm not that picky. Um, and yeah, and this will be like our kitchen, and then our living room can be like right here. Um, so you can either put the doors right here, or you can put them right there. Um, which one? Or you can put two. You can put one right there. One right there. I'm not really feeling the two. I think that looks good. That looks nice. So the kitchen's going to be right here. And then we can put like a table right there. Then the living room is going to be right here. It's going to be a really weird shaped living room. It's going to be like right off of the lake. Or we can even put the living room right here. I think that's going to be our best bet is to put, it, put the living room here. But we'll figure that out once we get all that stuff situated. Now, let's go upstairs. We need stairs. So go to stairs. Oh, since we still have... Since we still have Conscarian Floor Elevation False on, bring up your cheat bar and put Conscarian Floor Elevation True. And then... That'll make it to where, yeah. <laughs> and I think I'm going to make it two. Does that look too big? Um, hmm. What about there? Does that look weird? I don't think it looks weird at all. I think it looks nice, actually. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting excited. 
All right, so press the letter R on your keyboard. Um, gonna play around with stuff here. Hmm. Kinda. I don't wanna like overboard it. I don't wanna overboard. Um, I don't want to go overboard with the custom content. Okay, so then maybe make... Oh, that part white. And that part white. And then make... How's that look? Does that look good? I think it looks good. So it's our stairs. It's coming along, guys. It's coming along really nice. Um, we do need some more windows, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, OK, this is kind of an odd-shaped downstairs, but I kind of want a fireplace too, <laughs> just like, um, which one? This one looks good. The pyro pit came with Supernatural. Just gotta figure out where. Will it look weird if the fireplace is like right in front of the door? I don't think it will. And then we'll put like the TV right here. And that right there. It's open concept, which is nice. I love open concept houses. And I usually take away that. Um, I usually take away this part right here because you can take it away and it won't mess with the house and it won't mess with the, the, the fireplace. But can we, oh, you can't change the style of it. I was gonna say I, I'll keep it if I can change the style of it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. That's, that sucks because that, look, that looks really nice. Um, so yeah, there's the fireplace. We need to add more windows. I think I want to add the the same windows that we used. I guess the same windows that we used before. I'm gonna spread them out. You know, to give the house some light, because this house hardly has any light. <laughs> Um, we could even put some, put two in the bathroom. And that's not usually where you put windows. And since there's going to be a window, or since there's going to be a, a, um, since there's going to be like a, little eating area right here or we can even e or we can even make the eating area right here but I think I'm just gonna make it right here um, and then the the sink and stuff's gonna be right here with like counters and everything and so I'm gonna use the good manners flower box window I'm gonna put it right there I'm gonna make it white like everything else. Look at that. Okay, now for the... Oh, I forgot I need a door for the bathroom. I already know which door I'm going to use, too. It's, it came with ambitions, I think. I don't know what expansion pack that is. Caesar's pathway door. 
excuse me. Let's put it right there. It doesn't matter. It's just, a, it's just a bathroom. Um, but for the bathroom tile, I'm going to put tile. And it's going to be base game, of course. I'm just going to use the large grouted floor tile. Just like that. Now, for the walls. Let's go to paint. And I always use these ones. This one right here. The wall with baseboard and dental crown molding. Yeah, that stuff. Just make it all over the place. Look at that. But we can we can recolor it. Um, so you can pretty much make it whatever color you want. I'm going to make it like a gray, just because I'm boring. That looks pretty anyway. <laughs> it looks nice. And if you want to be super creative, you can put, um, you can go to rock and stone or what's that, what's that stuff called? Masonry? Yeah, you can get a masonry and put like exposed brick on the back, but make it like dark like that. Look at that. That looks pretty. And then you will you want to just make that on Wow. Look at that. That looks pretty. Okay. And then let's copy this and put it on the stairs too. Looks really pretty, you guys. I love it. Okay, and then for the bathroom. Hmm. You can use this stuff. Letter R. Make that part white, of course. And then maybe make this part, like drop it over to the white part, that part white. And then over here, it'll take you to the themes. But I think I want to make it, let's push on. Go to tiles. That doesn't look good. How about rock and stone? So this is kind of what you prefer. I've never really done this this much customization in my game. Hmm. So just kind of like play around with it and see which, what kind you want. What was that one? That's pretty. That's really pretty. It's this, this one right here. This letter E. That looks pretty. That looks really nice. Look at that. And then there's the downstairs. I'm just remembering though that I forgot to make this door all the way white because it's like really ugly looking off-white color. Let's just make it all white. There we go. <laughs> there, there's the downstairs. Now, we need to do the upstairs. Let's go up. Now, press letter E and copy the floor. Let's press shift and make it all same color. Um, this stuff right here, it's just um, the uh, where the roof is. You just delete it. Um, this letter E. 
There we go. Um, hmm. I can't put... Hmm, that's weird. It's okay, we'll figure it out. All right. So the upstairs is the hardest one for me to figure out. We could make this a bathroom. Just like cut it off. Yeah, there's a bathroom right there. <laughs> um, I will be decorating the whole upstairs, even though I hate decorating upstairs. But I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> um, this can be... That can be the master bedroom. And then we can put... This area over here is going to be empty because of the... Hmm. But a room right there. Room right there. Hmm. This is hard. So maybe we'll... Room right there. A room right there. And then maybe... The master can be right there. So it's kind of weird, but we can put like a, a laundry room right there. Two by two, put a lot put a laundry room right there. I think. No, that looks weird. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So let's try. Okay, so so yeah, this it looks weird right now, but it'll come together, I swear. <laughs> so there, the master bathroom, the master bedroom's gonna be right there. It's gonna be like a little nursery thing. I think this is what we can make that. And then another bedroom right there. So three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a laundry room. So let's go downstairs. Oh, excuse me. And then copy the walls. And just make them all the same color. And then we'll go downstairs and copy the bathroom floor. The bathroom floor the same color. And then we'll copy the walling. Now, what I like to do is I like to put fencing um, along here to kind of make it look like a banister. So I'm going to use the gentle fence. Press letter R and we're going to make it all white. Oops. There we go. And press letter E. Let's go all the way along there. There we go. Looks nice. And then we're going to put some doors in here. That way we can... Right there. 
right there, right there, and a door right there. Okay, now we can put an archway right here. Just make it white. It's just, it doesn't matter which archway you use. Actually, it matters to me because <laughs> everything has to be even because I'm nuts. Of course, nothing's going to be even. Why would it be? So we'll just use this one and we'll put it on either side. I keep clicking on masonry when I mean to click on miscellaneous. There we go. There we go. And then I think it would be really pretty if we copied this and put it right there. But like, oh, of course it's not going to fit right. Oh, I hate that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so maybe we can just um, copy the skinny windows and then put three of them right there. There we go. And then we need to put some windows in the bedroom. So copy this window. And then copy skinny window. And if you're wondering why it does this to where it like intersects with that, it's just because you have move objects on. If you want to get rid of it, just put move objects off. That's why it does that. That's the only reason it does that. That's annoying, I know, but what you gonna do? Okay. So there's the upstairs, wow. And then for that room, I think, let's put a single window right there. That looks nice enough. Um, so yeah, look at that. We got the, got the inside and the outside all squared away. And I never do anything with the, I never do anything with the garage so you can just um just put some random siding and flooring in there so wow look at that i think um i think I, before i finish this part i want to do up the backyard the small backyard that we got and so good at fences, and I always use the same fences in all of my um, in all of my speed builds and all of my build with me's. This bumper crop redwood fence. And I wanna make I wanna use the white one this time. And so I just kinda go down along this way. Go down that way. Hmm. How far out do we want to go? Um, we could start right here. And then go out. Like that. And then go down. Look at that. And then we can have a pool right there. Okay, so let's make a pool real quick, and do uh, you can create like a regular square pool if you want, but I'm gonna go a little bit fancy. I'm gonna go to a curved pool, and if you're wondering how to do this, use the arrow keys, not the arrow keys that you move with, but there should be little there should be a left and right arrow key that's like um, that's kind of like near your space bar. 
You just use that to move it. Um, so I'm going to use, put one right there and right there, there, right there, and then fill it in with a regular size pool or a regular looking one. And then we need, of course, we need Uh, and maybe a diving board yeah and then of course we need some pool lights and I'm gonna change the color of the pool um, of the pool wall so I'm gonna go to oh, tiles I think no. Paint. There we go. And then paint again. Maybe the whole, there we go, that looks better. And then that can be, we can use, we can use tiles for, a little rock and stone, that'll probably look better, right? I don't want a white bottom. Hmm. I'm kind of getting off track here, aren't I? Oh wait, what was that one? Uh, that looks good, I guess. I just play around with it. Um, Oh, that was, that was weird. Okay, so you will need a, like, a gate, you know, so your sims don't get stuck, because <laughs> that happens a lot, too. Okay, so there should be a two, so yeah, these ones, the, the bumper redwood gate, just put that right there. Um... And then we can even make put like like pavement around the pool, and I want to put some cards, some flooring to kind of make sure that nothing gets outside. Um, some flooring in there too, so it doesn't get inside. Okay, now all right, now let's go to terrain paints. Bring the brush off this all the way over. Now I can delete the flooring. And then let's outline this with some dirt. Mm. 
sorry, I'm like really picky. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that was kind of... And then... I can make... a little garden right here, or right here. Or we can put some more pavement. Hmm. I just got new headphones today, so I'm kind of... Mm, maybe this one. Or maybe... Like that. That looks nice. Let's go to dirt and sand again. And like... There we go. This is a cute little backyard. And then we can go to buy mode. Let's go to the outside outdoors. And we can put a picnic table. I like using the one from Seasons. It's like the picnic table right there. And then maybe put a grill right there. And get a seating. And get this little Mac outdoor table. And put one on either side. I like putting one on both sides. Um, hmm. Hmm. What else? It's kind of a small backyard, but it works. Um, you could even put a uh, a clothing a clothes line that it came with ambitions. You could even put that like right there. Looks really nice. Yeah, looks pretty. Okay, now and if you want if you wanted to, you can put go back to build mode. Go to shrubs and put. Um, where is it at? There we go. Put like a huckleberry bush right here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, hmm. I kind of want to put mulch um, down right here where the, the mulch is going to be in the miscellaneous. You see the redwood mulch. Um, Don't forget to bring the brush softness all the way up, or all the way down. And then, complete the flooring. And go to dirt and sand and like...
There we go. Looks weird, I know. But it looks, I think it looks nice. Um, there's the backyard. Wow. And so the next two parts will be, um, will be me decorating it. Um, I'm not pre-recording that, those parts. I just wanted to pre-record the, the first two. Oh, excuse me. And actually, mm, never mind. I was going to do something else, but I decided not to. And so, wow, look at that. It's starting to come together. So we did a lot in this part. I know it's a lot, but um, it's finally, the house is finally starting to look really nice. I really like it. Um, leave a comment and a subscribe if you're new and if you like what you see. Um, let me know what you guys want to name this house, and I will be uploading it. <laughs> Just like my last build with me, I didn't upload the house because I thought I didn't think I needed to. But I promise I will upload this house um, when it's all finished. Um, I might even um, upload it twice, like one right now, like unfurnished, and then like furnished, like after we're done. That way you guys can um, decorate it any like way you want. Um, but I will leave you guys here and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye guys.